Uh, today, uh, my name is um, Dalia, and today I'm going to talk about uh, HIV and pregnancy monitoring. Before I start, I would like to thank you for accepting my topic and for giving me the opportunity to do some very interesting research on HIV by reading articles in French that I have translated and also in English. I would like also to thank uh, my teacher, uh, Bribitsko, for informing and uh, encouraging us uh, to do this work. Let's start. Introduction. So, um, it's now possible to significantly reduce the risk of HIV transmission from mother to child during pregnancy or uh, breastfeeding. Uh, the main risk is the transmission of the virus from mother to child, which can be prevented by uh, prescribing uh, antiretroviral treatment that must be taken regularly. Definition. The term HIV and AIDS should not be used indistinctly. Not everyone living with HIV has AIDS. Many people mistakenly this think that uh, HIV and AIDS are synonymous. So HIV is human immunodeficiency virus and AIDS is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. So AIDS is the final stage of HIV infection. HIV testing. HIV testing of both uh, members of the couple should be encouraged at any consultation related to reproduction. For pregnant women, so, uh, serological testing for HIV infection is a necessary condition for women's access to PMTC, prevention of mother-to-child transmission. It must be systematically pro uh, proposed during the first prenatal examination. In order to detect HIV seroconversion uh, during pregnancy, it is uh, uh, recommended to um, suggest a new test at the th um, sixth month of um, even at uh, delivery. And then for the future father and partner of the pregnant woman, HIV testing should be offered the, uh, to the partner uh, because an in our HIV status can lead to um, primary infection of the woman during pregnancy. Mother to child transmission of HIV occurs. So, um, first of all, during pregnancy, uh, transplantal uh, ascending uh, throat amniotic membranes and amniotic fluid and in uh, invasive uh, diagnostic procedures. Second, during delivery, when the fetus passes through the natural birth canal and after delivery, when uh, breastfeeding. Recommendation uh, for uh, prevention for mother to child transmission, uh, PMTC. The basic concept is to use antiretroviral therapy in all cases with the goal of achievement and uh, undetectable viral load. This is the most important of the three compartments of transmission prevention during pregnancy, during delivery, and uh, in the uh, during, uh, uh, delivery period of, uh, it's uh, the period of maximum exposure of the fish of HIV and in the newborn. Treatment during pregnancy is called TSP, treatment as prevention, is the use of uh, antiretroviral medication to prevent the transmission of HIV to sexual patterns. During delivery is calling PREP, pre-exposure uh, prophylaxis, and uh, for the newborn it's called post-exposure prophylaxis. <clears throat> and uh, HIV positive uh, positive woman at delivery like any other. Um, uh, here again, the situation has clearly evolved uh, in recent years. Current treatments make it possible to prevent the child from being contaminated at birth, but the protocol must be strictly followed without any interruption, including on uh, the day of delivery. So um, uh, Dr. Cecil Burnett Carter, uh, she's French and the uh, Department of Infections and Tropical Disease, not Unity Hospital uh, in French, says that we no longer perform systematic, uh, systematic cesarean section as we did 10 or 15 years ago. Uh, it was, um, she said that in November um, 2021, last, just last month. So HIV, how, how is the baby cared for at, at birth? Uh, all newborn, newborns whose mother are HIV positive receive preventive treatment against HIV at birth. Two molecules can be used, Zido, Vigin, and uh, Nivirapine. Uh, depending on the case, the treatment is continued for two 
to four weeks uh, if the month uh, if if um, the mother's HIV statue was discovered late. It is even possible to give the newborn a real trip therapy for uh, four uh, weeks. Uh, that said, uh, Professor um, uh, Brunet's Carter. Uh, checkups are then uh, performed at one month, three months, and six months to verify the child's uh, virological status. In the vast majority of cases. Um, the baby is not infected and does not need any treatment. However, the child remained uh, under surveillance in, until the age of two. Uh, so, breastfeeding. Breastfeeding is still con uh, con contraindicated because mother-to-child transmission of the virus remains dis despite uh, the mother anti-retroviral uh, treatment. Uh, formula feeding remains the only totally effective prevention of postnatal transmission through breastfeeding. It was in 2012 that uh, James' uh, team concluded that. But, in um, April 2021, peer uh, team said that it is possible with a treatment. You are probably wondering, Dalia, why did you decide to keep the 2012 uh, uh, study? Well, uh, because I, when I look at the graph of the 2021 study, I don't see 0%, even if it's decreased, but it's still uh, an interesting study. Uh, follow up the woman of the postural period. Uh, it's recommended to continue uh, <coughs> sorry, to continue antiretroviral treatment after delivery, uh, regardless of CD4 cell cancers. Antiretroviral therapy is an alternative. Um, in rare case, this continuation of antiretroviral therapy is an, an alternative but when uh, the woman has um, taken it exclusively for uh, prevention of uh, MTCT. Uh, post po po post Parts of uh, follow-up include uh, gynecological monitoring of and discussion of contraception if necessary. It's also important to arrange um, uh, for long-term follow-up of the HIV infection. Mother's physicians should consider inquiring about the child's health and encourage her to bring the child in uh, for consultation if there are any uh, unusual symptoms. So, recommendation for newborns exposed uh, to uh, HIV uh, perinatally, there is compelling <coughs> sorry, evidence that mother to child transmission of HIV can be reduced and almost eliminated by screening for infection during pregnancy, appropriate perinatal antiretroviral therapy, redu uh, reduction of exposure to HIV during delivery, and avoid. <coughs> of brief feeding. For these reasons, the Canadian Pediatric Society supports the following Canadian and American recommendation. HIV testing is early pregnancy, uh, pre, uh, repeat testing in the third trimester, women who have um, who arrive at the um, hospital um, in labor and Okay, in labor and whose HIV status is uh, in long should undergo rapid HIV antibody testing during labor of uh, delivery. If rapid HIV antibody testing is not available and the, uh, the mother is suspected of uh, being at high risk for HIV infection, antiretroviral prophylaxis should be considered for the newborn while awaiting test results. Uh, when maternal or newborn uh, HIV antibody test are positive and confirmed exposure, the newborn should undergo polymerase chain reaction of HIV DNA or RNA without, uh, within 48 hours of delivery if possible. So um, we are going to talk about uh, um, statistic research done in uh, 2017, published in March 20, uh, 2021 by the team of uh, Misnor and all. Uh, scenario implementation analysis of material HIV derived. We are just going to talk about Ukraine. Um, here, uh, B is Decreasing, we, we can see decreasing HIV prevalence in um, Ukraine, and um, uh, the here uh, decreasing uh, HIV uh, uh, incidence in Ukraine, and uh, F F um, here um, increasing PREP use in Ukraine, H 
uh, and finally, decreasing HIV prevalence and uh, incidence increasing PREP use in Ukraine. And, and as usual, I finish my presentation as usually do um, with um, the teacher, uh, President Zanyuk, uh, with a quote. And uh, today I have chosen Princess Diana. Uh, she said that HIV doesn't make people dangerous to know. So you can shake their hands and give them a hug. Heaven knows they need it. Thank you for your attention.